Hello there, thank you for joining me for That's Just The Way It Is. I'm your host, BC. Today I'm going to talk about something I found was a little strange and unusual and a little funny and I, I'm like, you know what, I can't believe this is happening. It would appear that a U, uh, A&T professor decides he's going to run for political office, he's going to run for city council. And I think that's a good thing if you are able to uh, put yourself in a position like that, I think you are to do it. Anyway, and I just hope that he's not a blooming idiot. Anyway, so the, I guess you could say the college board got together and said, you know, you didn't let us know you were going to do this. You know, you need to give permission. You know, number one, the guy's an adult. So he don't need anybody's permission really to do this. But they said, you know, you didn't let us know. We didn't okay it. Um, you know, this is against school policy. Now it may be against school policy. And you didn't get, you didn't ever let us know you had any notion of doing this, which the guy might not have known until the last minute what, what he was going to do. Anyway, so they suspended him uh, with pay. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I think that that was a good thing. But if you're really trying to teach someone a lesson, I mean, are you going to send them home with pay? I, that's fine, you know? I mean, I, but, you know, I think that the guy, I think that he, he didn't do any wrong. I think that he has every right to run for political office if he sees fit. You know, he can't do any worse than some of the others that's in there. I mean, my God, look how the country's being run. And look what all's been going on with the education system here lately. You know? And, you know, I'm just hoping he's not one of them. You know, is my biggest worry. So, anyway, my thoughts is I don't see anything wrong with a guy running for political office. I think it's fine. I, you know actually admire him for standing up and doing something maybe he can make some kind of a change there in Greensboro North Carolina you know it would be nice if someone could and if someone really cared you know to do that and that's another thing you know I used to hear about uh, teachers they cared about their jobs a lot of teachers don't care about their jobs so it's good to know that there is a teacher out there who and I believe he is a political teacher of some sort anyway so it's good that, you know, teachers take an initiative and actually showing their kids that they can do something or showing their students they can do something. You know, you got to commend that. But as far as the school or the college, I really don't know what to say about that. There's a whole lot I can say. I think that, uh, you know, the man's an adult. I mean, I understand you may have rules and policies, but I don't see, the guy's not even elected. So I really don't see why that is really an issue. Now, if he got elected, I can see where it may hurt the college some, you know, as far as, you know, losing. As a matter of fact, they wouldn't even be losing a teacher. You know, because if I'm not mistaken, you know, city council, they, they meet at night. And, you know, they meet for what, an hour or two? That is not even going to affect you. You know, you are to be proud that, you know, you would have someone on the city council at your school. You know, to represent your school. You don't know. That might come in handy. So, you know, you're just, you guys are just a blue and idiot down there. I don't know what's in the water. I don't know what's in the air. I don't know if it's being injected. I really don't know. But all I know is the blooming idiots are growing. They're showing more, and there's just no stopping. It's like a freight train 